Hello, I'm Neil Mitchell and I'm an operations architect with VMware. I'd like to consider a particular IT organisational question with you, which is related to the introduction of cloud services. Picture the circumstance. An existing IT organisation that has built up over many years is delivering services and may follow traditional good practice frameworks such as ITIL. However, chances are that it's not optimised for the delivery of cloud services. It's probably siloed, may have developed many poor and labour intensive practices along the way, and may not be perceived to be delivering value. You recognise the scenario? One option is to reinvent IT, create a new greenfield IT organisation with no legacy constraints. Can it be done? What will your challenges be? With any programme, such as the introduction of cloud services, cultural change is one of the greatest challenges. You can argue that introducing a new greenfield organisation will overcome this. So let's consider some organisational questions. Firstly, staffing. The old IT will not disappear overnight. You will be introducing a new parallel or shadow organisation. Do you transition staff across or recruit from scratch? If you transition staff, legacy practices and behaviours will also migrate. If you recruit from scratch, then there is overall induction to the organisation, associated training to be considered with inherent hidden costs. Can you use contractors either in the new cloud organisation or to backfill the existing one? Either of these options will create a bigger IT organisation, at least in the short term and must be budgeted for. Secondly, organisation structure. Should the new cloud organisation work within your existing organisation? Keeping it within the existing organisation structure runs the risk of undue influence by the we've always done it this way crowd, so it may not be truly greenfield. If a separate organisation or department, will you be replicating management and back office functions such as IT finance? Let's consider some of the process and technology questions you will also need to address. Will the new cl cloud architecture be standalone? Consider possible components. Operating system, middleware, monitoring agents and application components. There may be corporate standards and configurations to be followed. Should you set up a shadow support organisation or can you continue to use existing expertise? At the data centre level, delivery of the cloud services will require physical infrastructure from power and space through to the network and storage. Do you build a new data centre or can you make use of an existing one? What about security, risk and compliance? The new IT organisation will likely interact with the existing business to ensure the delivered services meet any regulatory requirements. IT service management. Do we create a parallel service desk or modify process and procedures for the existing service desk? How about event, incident, problem, change management? Do you implement new par parallel processes or do you modify existing ones to account for a cloud optimized approach? Correct provision of cloud services will introduce a major increase in policy-based automa automation and standardization and result in opportunities for you to optimize operations but not in isolation from the higher level service management context. So is Greenfield a practical option for you? Perhaps it is an as an aspiration, but is the reality a little more grey? VMware works with a lot of organisations to transform their IT operations. To learn more, please reach out to your VMware representative. Thank you very much for your time today. <laughs>